guys it's February 2 a little after 1130 and Val is off for her three days here she comes with Skittles so she wants to do some cleaning up of this brush though so she's gonna focus on that but right now we're kind of squaring out house design a little bit and um, we decided to do um, we talked to Roger a little bit he said good numbers are divisible by four so maybe a 16 by 36 so we put these stakes like we did over there and we're gonna lay this line and since he's not here I might do this a little bit more detail so you can see how we're guessing at what's sort of flat okay we tried to string this and the level was coming above this stake and all the way to the bottom of that stake so that tells us we have to pull a lot of dirt from up here down here and then we'll re-measure everything and Val is going to go ahead and start cleaning this area up all right it's getting on along a little bit later I don't know what time it is <laughs> it's for something Val was laying out she trimmed around these trees and got that cleaned up right here and I have to go up further to pull dirt from up here to bring this up level down here. It just wasn't enough. It was too much of a rundown hill. And to help us a little bit with drainage as well, we need it lower down there. So the water will drain before it gets to us, to the house. It's been a nice day, very nice weather. So we're gonna wrap it up. Val did some dousing and moved her flag to a new location and I'm not indicating at all on her new location and mine's still pointing to mine's the best place but she's found a new spot so I don't know what we're gonna do for where we're gonna have them dig drill for water don't know all right we will see you guys we may be coming out here tomorrow but whenever we make it back out here we'll see you then it's February 3 it's my brother's birthday. Oh. Happy oh. birthday, Эдик. Ah. Добро пожаловать к новым 50-летним годом тебе. Поздравляю с днем рождения. Wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. And, I don't know, it's probably close to noon. It pays to have a daughter who works at Home Depot. We got a whole bunch of peat moss for grow for organic growing and we're gonna use this mix probably with something else for garden and stuff and planting trees fruit trees and all that stuff so I'm gonna unload this stuff it's pretty heavy and we're gonna put it here on the pallet all right let's get to work we got a great deal. huh we got, a great deal. we got an excellent deal these are usually two $22 a bag uh -huh. and we got them for two dollars and something a bag so a 600 and something dollar load for 60 something or about 70 bucks or something that's a really good deal we had to take advantage of that and that's why I said it's good to have a daughter that works at Home Depot because when they have clearances that aren't advertised she can tell us about those things so we're just gonna this is the first thing we've taken advantage of but we're just gonna keep our eyes out if she sees something that we could use here at a good price well might as well pick it up all right i'm gonna unload this let's get to work all right the jacket came off after about four or five so 31 bags by myself i don't mind saying my foreman's sitting down there getting her tan on <laughs> oh they're a little bit too heavy for her so i did it myself all right now we need to unload some pallets that we got for Neon and Diego, they're gonna do a shed as well. So I gotta offload those two. All right, we are finishing up for the evening. About 4.30 or something, I don't know. I pulled more dirt, started piling it up down there at the end to bring that end up and bring this end down. We cleaned all the stuff that was sitting here. There was a few things sitting there that we took and put it over by the shed and Val's been cleaning up all the brush and tiny things <clears throat> all around these trees 
And now we're gonna do a little bit of dousing again. We still can't figure out with this dousing where to put the the well. So we're gonna keep working on it, but uh, we may be going to South Carolina tomorrow to buy some fruit trees, not sure yet. We've been kind of keeping our eye out for some good deals. <clears throat> there happens to be a really good deal way down there, but we'll need to call and make sure somebody's going to be there tomorrow. So I don't know if we'll be out here tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not. Also going to Roger tomorrow with some drawing plans of ideas for the house. So there's a good possibility I won't be back out here until this next week sometime, but we'll see. We'll see you guys when I get back out here. What did you buy today? I bought fruit trees. <laughs> Amazing. We got grapes. We got an apple tree there. More grapes. Trees, 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 trees. Trees. Food. Free food. Free food. Well, it's not free. The trees cost, but it'll produce, hopefully. Oh, we drove to South Carolina today. Pretty deep into it to get a good deal. Pretty amazing. So we're excited. This is Sunday. I don't know what day it, what the date is. Yeah. February four or five? Four. four. All right. So there we go. It's exciting. That's the stuff I'm excited about is growing our own food. So that's the exciting thing for me is growing our own food. Look at this. These three hundred dollars that we spent is gonna be forever priceless food that we will eat that we know it's real food real food yes it's not printed we can make jams and juices and have life giving energetical food are you recording me yeah oh you have to tell me this we should not <laughs> hi <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> uh, it's exciting